Hello, it's Emma Mills here and welcome to episode 133 of my TV, which is today is going to be all about how I can help you to enjoy your holidays forever more just like you did at Christmas. And I know it's probably what, four or five weeks ago now since Christmas. And what I mean by that is, I've spoke to loads of business owners who said to me, oh yeah, I can't wait for the Christmas break because it's the one time when everybody isn't working and so there aren't the same demands on your time. People aren't trying to get hold of you in the same way. The number of emails completely drops off on that Friday before Christmas. Um, and I appreciate it's probably not the same in every single business. There are still businesses running over Christmas. But for lots of us, it's a really, really quiet time. And it is a time to switch off because everybody's doing the same thing. And... I think it's quite sad with a lot of business owners that they think like that's 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 not the norm that you can have some time off you can have a break from your business without constantly needing to check a, check a notification or to reply to someone or to return a call I feel like a lot of business owners are totally at the um at the behest of other people making contact with them and they'll feel the need to respond instantly or they will be the only person looking after their communications. Well, I'm gonna break it to you that life doesn't have to be like that. And you can go on holiday for a week or two weeks and not feel the need to log into the laptop or you know, look at your emails or see what social media messages you've got. About um, kind of like last August time, I was in, there's a face, one of the, one of the many business Facebook groups that I'm in. And there was a conversation going on around one lady who had taken time off work for a week and she hadn't looked at her emails at all. And it was the first time that she'd done that. And everybody in the group, there was lots of comments around, like, some were like, wow, how did you manage to do that? I can only dream of not responding to any emails or answering any phone calls. Um, others were kind of saying, like, well, yeah, that's how it should be. Um, but gem the general consensus of this discussion was, wow, that's, that's, that's amazing, that's utopia, like how do we get it to be like that all the time? And actually, it's not that difficult. It, there'll be some aspects, of course, I can't answer, but actually, in general, it's not, that, it's not that difficult to have a day off, to have a week off, to have two weeks off, and to have your business run to an extent where, because at the end of the day, what we're talking about here is, you know, managing people's ex expectations, potentially booking calls in for you, um, yet managing expectation on email or just escalating something to you if it is really urgent. I'm not saying really urgent things don't happen that don't need your attention, but it is all manageable and possible. It doesn't have to be that you are constantly just checking and doing everything yourself. And for me, there are three main ways that you can solve this. I can't help you too much with the third, but number one is inbound calls. So if you take calls directly on your mobile, if the business line, if you still have to take those calls, there are there is just a really quick and easy solution for any calls that come in to get expectations managed. Whether you have your team do it, a call answering service, honestly, it will be one of the best things that you ever that you have ever done. They are not expensive to implement, they make your business look a million times better, and they will manage your customers' expectations. So if you are on holiday, you can say to them that I will return calls on such a date or between certain times of the day. Calls do not have to be the bane of your life, and if they are for you, it is so easy for you to do something about it. There is only you stopping you. Number two is inbound communications of other means. So let's say your emails. Ultimately, your email inbox is, is a list of somebody else's to-dos and priorities. When an email comes into your inbox, they are saying to you that they want a response to this. They want to know about such a thing. This is important to them. Your, many business owners just start dealing with stuff because other people have sent, sent it to them without actual rhyme or reason or forethought of should I be attending to all of this. So email inboxes, um, social media direct messages are a massive one now. I, I, the amount of business owners I know that struggle to keep up with, you know, messages, contact, conversations is really high. And so it's something else that I know creates head trash and needs to be solved. Um, and any other potential like web chats or basically like inbound communication that isn't calls. Well, for starters, your email inbox can be managed and expectations can be set. Again, whether it's a member of your team, whether you get a virtual PA to do it who can help you, 
Every business owner I know is guilty of thinking that their inbox cannot be managed, that their business is crazy different from everyone else's, that their kind of emails um, a PA or a VA could never help with. I will, I will, it is just not true. There are definitely parts of it if I was managing your inbox, I wouldn't be able to respond to you but I, because I don't know the answer. But they get um, escalated or filed in a certain place of things you would only need to look at. The rest of the emails, there are so many things that can be managed um, that can be, people can be told that you're away, when to expect a response. An autoresponder can do a great job of that as well. But actual being able to pick up some stuff, you know, there are things in your inbox that a VA or somebody else will be able to pick up and run with. You don't have to do everything yourself and feel the need to keep checking and responding to that inbox because it is such, never mind during like a holiday, during the work day, it's a drain. So the quicker you can get that solved, the better it will be for your time, productivity and headspace. And then in terms of social media messages, again, you always get out of the mindset of, I can only do this myself, it is not true. You know, um, messages can be, people can be told when you can get back to them, calls can be booked in for you on your behalf. Ultimately, what I just want to get across to you in this is if you spend a lot of time on this device, replying to people instantly as soon as they message, um, interrupting time that you should be spending on the high value stuff, in interrupting time you should be spending with your family at weekends, evenings, there are solutions for it and it doesn't have to be like that. And again, it is only you getting in your own way thinking that your stuff is different when it isn't. The third thing that will help you to switch off completely is if you actually provide the service yourself, getting some help to do that. So for example, I've had my business for 12 years. In 2015, I stopped providing PA supports. So like I don't actually provide the PA work. I have a team who do that. And I've done that by implementing the processes, you know, creating training, creating best practice, getting out of my head how I do what I do and then getting the team to do it. Obviously that is an area of the business where if you are still providing everything yourself and you're looking to start to get some help or get, you know, outsourced team, employed team, subcontractors to start to spend time on training processes, systems, it means somebody else can take it over from you is definitely a good use of your time. But if in any way you are suffering, when you are on holiday normally throughout the year of calls and messages and emails and having to respond to them, there is a solution for you. And every holiday can be just like Christmas, which is quiet and peaceful and um, you're able to focus on what you want to do, not what other people are asking for. And I hope this tip helps you to get your head out of the dirt and into the clouds and enjoy those holidays that you're going to plan in for this year. And I will see you next week for episode 134. See you then. Bye bye.